Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's filled with love and joy and happiness and lots of good cheer. Hey guys, what's up? So it's actually it's Saturday, December 10 p.m. Um, I didn't do much today, so I didn't vlog. So this is gonna be a combined clip from today and tomorrow's um, vlog. And today I was just in chill mode. As you guys know, sessions are not today on weekends for that matter. So my session will be Monday. So I've just been chilling. I had no test, nothing. I've been chilling in pain. I had to up my um, prednisone. So yeah, we're gonna see how I do on that and if that's gonna help with with that pain I've been having. But um, other than that, nothing has been going on. Shower, I'm about to get back on my heart tally and go to sleep i had some issues with my computer that's why my um video was uploaded late yeah my computer been tripping but um we got it together so hey we rolling again but i will see you guys tomorrow good night morning good sunday morning guys so it's december the 10th oh 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 I'm popping. I'm still really sleepy, but everybody is calling me and coming in my room. So I just got up and my breakfast is here. I was actually going to go to um, the chaplain that they have here, but I'm looking on the channel. Let me see if I can go back to It's like no one there. So I am not about to be down there by myself. So. I'm just about to find something um, probably motivational on YouTube and watch that this morning. So let me show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. So I'm having Honey Nut Cheerios. This morning I decided to go ahead and try cream of wheat. Um, they're supposed to be something like grits. I don't know. Never really tried them before, but... It looks kind of watery. Realizing mother, and that's apple juice, and then just uh, um, some of the whole milk that is for the Cheerios, and that's pretty much what I'm having for breakfast. I'm also gonna try to have a a booth too, cause I have like a ton of these that I need to drink up. So I'm gonna try to do at least two or three today. So, yeah. Imagine your life is like a container. You were created to be filled with joy, peace, confidence, creativity. But if you allow worry in, it pushes out the peace. There's not space for both. You can't go above 100%. You have a limited amount of room. If you allow guilt to I'm take... A little bit, but I was noticing my IV. Look how it looks, y'all. Oh, look, I'm trying to see, yeah. So I don't think that it should look like that. And um, it's been into this um since the six, and on this floor they say they change them every four days. So it's time for it to be changed because today is the tenth. I'm gonna come take a look at it for me, but look at it. It just looks weird, and I'm so scared of these things because. This girl was telling me that they didn't change hers and it had got um, infected and she lost her arm. It was my arm. So, yeah, we need to see what's going on with this because oh, ain't no way. Like, how am I going to carry my oxygen with one arm? I need an anxiety pill because I'm getting anxiety now thinking about it. It's really, it's bleeding. I'll let y'all know what the results are. Okay, y'all, so I got my walker and I got gloves over it and 
a fresh full tank of oxygen. So I'm about to get ready to go for my walk down the hall. I'm not going downstairs or anything like that. So let me just put on my mask. Chapstick too. My lips are chaps. I think I need to eat. I need some kind of sugar. Yeah, so I'm just out in the hallway walking up. I gotta do what I need to do to try to stay out of the hospital and try to just walk and do what I can do. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. My part. y'all i'm just coming in and check in with y'all um basically i'm about to end this vlog so that i can start editing it I don't have any problems editing it i just try to delete well okay. videos once i'm done to my hard drive and so that can kind of help clear up space but i still need to clear a lot of pictures and just stuff that was saved that i didn't even ask for it to be saved Anyways, I haven't did much today. Um, I did go walking, as you guys saw. So I'm trying to do that as much as I can. Again, it was a weekday. I thought the kids had school. And yeah, and today is literally Sunday. So tomorrow, and I'm so excited for that because I'm almost done. I'm almost halfway there. I'm gonna see, um, hopefully I get to take this out, but they said if i have to do if the doctors want to do more treatments then they'll just keep it in and i'm like okay i hope not to get through this last treatment tomorrow and then through the iv ig and the rituximin or however you pronounce that i don't even know so yeah I'm chilling i watch me some motivational John Osteen this morning. I do that every morning when I wake up as well as read the Bible. They don't have one in here, but I'm guessing I can request one home. That's gonna be a morning ritual or at least before I go to bed, but it's gonna be at least one time a day. Um, pretty much it. I, I was beginning to go into a really, really bad lupus flare. That's where all of the pain came from, guys. This pain was just so unbearable and so they ran blood work and they determined that I had really really high inflammation so that's why they you know went up and the pain is it's a little bit manageable now yeah that pain ain't no joke them flares it's not no joke I, I can guess when I say that I have my flares they're mild flares but they're still pretty painful, but it, it hasn't been painful like that in a while. Um, so where I'm just like, you know, like shit. that I may not make my psychiatrist appointment. That's Tuesday, and today is already the 10th, and it's 4 the 12th. So I'm gonna have to call and reschedule. And I hope that I don't have to wait another month to get in, a month and a half to get in. But if I do have to wait, I'll wait. But it just sucks. I've been waiting a, a month and a half to get an appointment with them. And I might not even be able to make it. What you guys been up to? You guys have been watching me and my journey in this hospital. And um, what, I can, what I can tell you guys is just... Thank you for all of the prayers. Thank you for all of the comments. Thank you for everybody who sent me the emails. Thank you for everybody who sent me Snapchats, um, direct messages through Instagram. Like, thank you so much.
it means a lot to me we gotta keep it moving y'all we have to keep it moving we have to stay positive we have to cry when we need to cry <laughs> and we human and that's what's so beautiful about us but Merry Christmas and a happy, happy new year, year. Happy new